continues to examine both sides of this argument. Channel 3 eyewitnesses where Matthew Campbell is live now to explain how the state is trying to walk this tightrope. Yeah, Matthew? Dennis, you know, this is not easy. It's all about finding that balance between public safety and economic health. And today we heard from the former commissioner of the FDA. You know, we've hit all of the metrics laid out by the state, the current hospitalizations you just pointed out, less than a thousand. So the governor is ready to reopen tomorrow. But as we've seen over the last week, not everyone's going to be happy. The state listened to a loud portion of stylists and delayed reopening hair care until June 1st. Today, as Matt McFarland will show you, that decision was met with anger from stylists who want to reopen tomorrow. So we asked the medical experts exactly how much of a difference a week and a half will make when it comes to safety. And they say not much. If you're looking at this purely from a public health question of the epidemic itself, just narrowly thinking about COVID and coronavirus, every day that we wait, we see cases come down and we see capacities increase. And so the risk will be reduced um, when we reopen for every day that we wait. We have to balance that against the economic impact of staying shut, which is very real, and the public health consequences of being shut. There's health care not getting delivered because of the mitigation that we've imposed. And these are the hard decisions that policymakers make. This is the kind of balancing that elected officials and policymakers engage in. Um, I think we're striking a prudent balance here against the risk of COVID and COVID resurgence and getting to a point where we've lowered the risk enough where we can start to reopen to offset the other risks that we're taking from the economic impact. As we continue down the path to a partial reopening at six, we're going to have the health policy experts weigh in on the future and what we can expect later in the summer and also the fall. For now, live above the news are Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News. Okay.